I'm Tasha Keeney, Director of Investment Analysis and Institutional Strategies at ARK Invest. And today we'll be talking about 3D printing. 3D printing, or additive manufacturing, the process of building parts layer by layer, as opposed to subtractive manufacturing, has dramatic impacts across manufacturing. It lowers costs, it quickens time to production, and ultimately reduces waste. 3D printing is already heavily used for prototyping, it's also used to replace tools used in the manufacturing process, and in some cases for end-use parts. End-use parts is the market which we think is the largest addressable opportunity here and probably the least penetrated market segment. But automakers have been using 3D printing more often in the production process, and here's a great example. Tesla has been experimenting with 3D printing the nearly the full vehicle underbody Previously, the company has gigacasted parts of the underbody, which in itself was an innovation combining multiple parts. And this would dial up that process even more. So this is using 3D printing sand castings to create one-time use molds for the car underbody. The process combines what was previously 400 parts into a single part. Not only does that simplify skews, but it also has implications for strength because you're removing joints. This also allows companies to remove steps in manufacturing, overhead, and labor costs involved in assembly. We also believe that 3D printing sand castings could reduce automotive development time dramatically. And this is one piece of the puzzle that enables the new paradigm of automotive manufacturing, which is the 18 to 24 month development cycle. Lastly, design validation costs also comes down. Because with traditional non-3D printed molds, when you change the design and have to produce a new mold, this is actually a fairly expensive process. With 3D printing, the cost of creating a new sand mold is over 90% lower than traditional manufacturing. One important note here is, again, that this mold is used one time with sand molds versus traditional manufacturing where you might use that mold over and over again. So it's really saving on the development cost. In the future, 3D printing might be used every time a car is produced. And today, 3D printing is enabling medical breakthroughs. This year, we saw the first eye transplant, and that process involved patient-specific 3D printed tools and molds for surgeries. And across a range of surgery types, in general, we've seen 3D printing improve surgical ac accuracy and results by 40 to 50%. Ultimately, patients have better outcomes with custom parts, as do doctors because this also reduces the operating time required for procedures by 30% on average. So far, 3D printing has benefited users of the technology more than suppliers. We found that the 3D printing industry itself has grown slower than we have expected. And it looks like most of the value has been accruing in companies that utilize 3D printing technology. A great example of that is SpaceX. SpaceX uses 3D printing every day to make Raptor engines for the Starship. And one of the key suppliers for that process is Velo 3D, which makes support-free 3D printing machines. You can see here that SpaceX really dwarfs Velo 3D in both size but also earnings potential. One thing that could change this dynamic is software-enabled 3D printers. 3D printed machines with sensors that are able to collect data on each print can help send that information from 3D printing customers back to 3D printing manufacturers in order to improve the print process every time. In other words, this is a very similar process to what Tesla does today with over-the-air updates for vehicles. This could set up the printer manufacturers with more leverage as they would be adding more value to their relationships. And comparing the 3D printer manufacturer margin structure with a more mature company like Illinois Toolworks, this gives us confidence that a higher margin structure is possible. All in all, we think that 3D printing could scale at a 40% annual rate to $180 billion by 2030. 3D printing is used across industries today that total more than $4 trillion in revenue. And while it takes education, time for adoption, and sometimes regulatory clearance to use the technology, we're seeing it being used more and more in cases like automotive manufacturing, where it lowers costs, time to production, and ultimately produces better parts.